Good evening, everyone. Welcome to this ABC 36 News Update. I'm Tom Kenny. Do you remember taking Econ 101 in college? Well, class was in session Monday in Frankfurt, but the name changed to Bad Economy 101. Independent economists were briefed on the sour economy as they prepared to predict the size of the state's budget deficit. ABC 36's Greg Stottlemyre has more on the pessimistic tone and its potential impact on state government. It's going to be a challenge. Nose diving numbers illustrated on chart after chart simplify the complicated collapse of our economy. This recession is going to have a hangover no matter where, how you look at it. Kentucky's panel of independent economists, known as the Consensus Forecasting Group. With this recession, we certainly had the impact of the global recession. Examined economic indicators Monday. They learned household net worth in the U.S. has plummeted $12 trillion. Vehicle sales dropped nearly in half. Housing starts across the country are at their lowest level since 1945. It's kind of like those cartoon characters that go running off the edge of a cliff and they keep going like this and then suddenly they fall. And that's kind of what's happened in housing. We built all these houses that there was no one to live in and then the bottom fell out. The state's budget office warns jobs and wages will continue to decline in the coming fiscal year. It's going to be an employment hangover that's going to be headwind against uh, uh, robust consumption and uh, growth. The independent economists meet again in 11 days, and when they get together, they'll have to settle on just how bad Kentucky's budget problem really is. Now that I've listened to this, I would say, if anything, I'm probably leaning a little more toward the pessimistic side. And the emerging picture is not a pretty one. Late last month, Governor Bashir warned that revenue could fall more than a billion dollars short of covering the state's next budget. That's probably in that neighborhood someplace. The official forecast from these economists will come a month before the new budget year begins. In Frankfurt, Greg Stottlemyre, ABC 36 News. And the state's future money woes follow on the heels of a $456 million shortfall in the current fiscal year. Lawmakers raised taxes on alcohol and tobacco, stopped the gas tax from dropping, and cut $150 million from the budget just to balance the books. Look for road crews and fewer potholes in central Kentucky, specifically in Fayette County. Holes along busy New Circle Road were filled Monday. And Tuesday, state crews plan to repair potholes along Interstate 75 from the Manowar exit south to the Fayette County line at the Clays Ferry Bridge. For eastern Kentucky flood victims, more help is on the way. God's Pantry food bank trucks loaded with food and cleaning supplies left Monday for Floyd and Pike counties. God's Pantry also made a delivery to all of the storm victims in hard-hit Breathitt County. In the weather, finally a dry stretch. Plenty of sunshine. After a chilly start Tuesday, highs in the 70s. Get more at WTVQ.com.